All right, I can't let this magic mail pile up any longer, so let's get into the goodies I was sent. Hurry back. Just an 80s boy and a 90s teen, going on all things Disney. From miles to parks and in between, come share the magic with me. La 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 la, la 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 la. Live your life to a Disney tune. Come and share Jake's Disney Afternoon. Hey Disney Afternoon gang, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jake. If you're returning here, thanks for coming back. And if you're new, I do all kinds of Disney content, including subscription boxes, hauls, vintage trips, magic mail. If it's Disney, we're doing it. So you're going to want to hit that little subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next Disney adventure. All right, the magic mail has piled up long enough. Time we get into some of this goodness um, that I was sent. So let's start with, uh, all right, this is a little holdover from Christmas. So Maylin, Miss Sassy Pants, sent me this card and something else. Uh, and it came, I think, just before I traveled for the holidays. Um, and it says, tis the season, and we've got all kinds of fun Disney icons there. And it says, Jake, season's greetings, Merry Christmas, Malin. And if you remember, Malin sent me, what swap was it in? I don't even remember the name of the swap. But anyway, one of the things she sent me was the VHS Beauty and the Beast pin from Europe, France, I think specifically, but, um, or Canada, maybe it came from Canada. Anyway, it was not the pin I was looking for. She knew that. Um, but I loved it anyway because I had never seen that series. However, in the interim between that swap and now, she was kind enough to track me down the last pin I needed in the Renaissance poster set. And this poster is just the best. I have this poster on my wall. I always found it funny that, like... Um, Belle was in like this purple and pink dress. Um, but I love this poster anyway. So Maylin, thank you for sending that to me. You didn't have to, but uh, so appreciated. All right, so then the other day, um, Kelly over at Magical Disney Tale sent me a message and was like, I'm standing in front of these things right now. Do you want them? And I was like, yes. Um, so you know I don't collect a lot of pops. Um, but I do have to collect the uh, the Disney Afternoon Pops, and uh, I've been a little slow on it. So she found a couple more for me. I have Louie and uh, uh, Louie and somebody. So she got me Zummy Gummy. Look how cool that is. Oh, I think I have a uh, Cubby. I think that's who I have. Yeah, I think I have Cubby's the other one. Um, there's the back. You can get all of them except Grammy. I don't understand that. Fungo. Um, but this is a really cute one. He's got the necklace and yeah, that's really cute. I have mine in the box right now, but it's mostly because I don't have a place to store them and they're actually easier to store in the box. So when I have a more specific place to set things up, maybe, um, oh, this one's cool. And then she found me a tummy. I don't know where she was when she found these, but um, I occasionally see them around in the wild. I'll probably just have to continue to slowly pick them up. There is a set for Gummy Bears, Tailspin. Uh, I don't know if there's Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I'm not as big up on the pops as I should be, so that's maybe one of my goals for this year is to educate myself. But Kelly, thanks for thinking of me. I appreciate you. Um, it means a lot. When you have good friends out looking for you, your money just goes in all directions. We're going to see that in a minute. All right, I've got a couple of pins here. Now, this came from, uh, oh, is this TikTok Croc Shop? I think this is TikTok Croc Shop. Um, and, uh, yeah, here's the card. TikTok Croc Shop is awesome. I've ordered for them before, and I know lots of people order for them. So if you're looking for a good pin seller, hit them up. Um, now, I'm only showing part of what I bought from them because what I got from them was uh, the, also the completion of a special set that I have been looking for for a long time. And 
Well, I may have completed it all, and you're just going to have to wait for a future video for that. But super awesome set. Um, but I also ordered a couple of these. Let me just take them off the plastic, and I will put them. I didn't realize they were double pin backs. Um, I had seen a lot of people opening these during the holiday of this season. I think this was, wasn't this the uh calendar the uh, advent calendar for this year the stockings so there were definitely a few i wanted and these are really awesome pins they're much bigger than i thought they would be so first up we have none other than uh, bernard and miss bianca on their like kind of globe inspired map um very cool and then we have uh Something I haven't added to in a little while for my collection. We've got Robin Hood. We've got uh, Skippy and uh, the Robin Hood sort of stocking with the arrows. Super cute. I love Skippy. I love like the little, um, the little other young kid creatures. And then we've got Sword in the Stone. We've got Archimedes and he's got the sword and the books and some of the scrolls and then kind of the Merlin inspired robe stocking. So I just picked up three of those. I think there's a couple others I would like to have. Like there's, I think there's a Beauty and the Beast one. I can't remember if there was an Alice in Wonderland or not. Um, what would be the, uh, was there a Peter Pan one? Just looking at my collections. Those are probably the only ones I would get. But those are like really good sized, you know, good sized pins. I was really impressed with those. So check out TikTok Crock Shop. Um, and then I have a box here from my good friends Jed and Nicola. Jed is my oldest childhood friend. We have been friends forever. If you remember back in the fall, they went to um, they went to Disneyland, and then for Christmas they went to Disney World, and they sent me some stuff, which you know they they know they don't have to do, but. I appreciate it so much. So let's pull this out. Oh, cool. So first of all, I do not have any of this, but this is one of the tote bags from the 50th. So on this side, we've got Mickey and Minnie in their garb. And then on the back side, we've got the symbol with the castle and the world's most magical celebration. So, you know, I love a good tote bag. So very happy to have that. Thanks, guys. Um, and then, ooh, this is awesome. Check that out. So this is some of the f only 50th merch I have right now. So there's a patch, which still working on a patch jacket. And then it comes with this like commemorative pin, which is really, really cool. I really like that a lot. That's going to look really, really great. Um, I have not seen a lot of the... Um, I have not seen a lot of the merch for the 50th other than a couple of pieces that are out there. So uh, I'm excited to sort of get that and start to look at maybe a few other things. But hoping to go on a trip before the 50th is over. Then, finally, they sent me a blind box. This is the Villains comic series. And do I have the Queen of Hearts one? Yeah, I have the Queen of Hearts one. But you can get Frollo, Scar, Hades, Cruella... Chernabog, Jafar, Captain Hook, and Ursula. Uh, I wouldn't mind Captain Hook. I do have a small Ursula collection. Um, but honestly, these are all really pretty cool bad guys. So it doesn't matter to me. So let's open this really quickly. Wait, are there two in there? No. There are. Each. Oh, there are two pins in here. Hey, I did not know that. Okay, so pin number one. All right, here we go. Reaching in the side, you get to see first. And uh, is that Jafar? Yeah, that's Jafar. And he says, "A snake am I? Perhaps you'd see, like to see how snake-like I can be." A Prince Ali, yes, it is he, but not as you know him. That's a really cool pin. Um, I do actually have a small Aladdin collection, so that's going to go nicely in there. And then, what did I just do with the other bag? Oh, here it is. Uh, second pin. It's really cool that these come with uh, two pins. Now, this one feels a different weight, so I'm hoping it's a different one. All right, ready? 
Ooh, Hades. And he says, my favorite part of the game, sudden death. That's really cool. I do have a few Hercules pins. Um, which ones did I recently get? I forget, it's too far away for me to see. Anyway, this is a really cool, these are really like good size pins too. Um, and I like the graphic quality of those. So friends, thank you for thinking of me as always. I appreciate you all and can't wait until we can see each other again. All right, finally, Francis over at Dream Finding with Francis keeps spending my money. Um, but I appreciate her because she messages me all the time and does all these park pickups for me. Uh, she's like, I'm going, and we collect a lot of the same things. She's like, I'm going to get blah, blah, blah. Do you want me to get you some? And I'm like, well, all right. Um, so these are the, she got me two of the Beauty and the Beast Windows of Love stained glass series. And I just think the, are these part of like the end of the 30th celebration? Nine pin collection. Oh, each box contains two. Look at this with Disney doing two in there. And these were $17.99. Um, so that's not terrible for two pins. So on the side, you can get, it's sort of hard to see. I don't really know why these aren't on the back. Um, but Belle and Prince dancing. You've got the castle. You've got the sort of mean boy prince. You've got the enchantress. You've got the enchantress um, melting into herself. You've got Gaston and Belle. And you've got the beast, you've got the beast changing uh, into human form again, and then you've got the uh, objects as humans, which I don't know if we had something with the objects as humans. All right, let's get right into these. My Beauty and the Beast uh, section of this board behind me is running out, and I'm going to have to do something about it. So stay tuned for a little DI project on that. All right, number one, I'm going to let you see first. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, and it's Beast turning into... Oh, I just love that transformation music. It gets me every time. That is a really, really pretty pin. Kind of like got like a like a rose gold um, frame on it, really nice. And there's the back. All right, cool. All right, that's number one. Let's go. Where's my box here? Let's go on to number two. Okay, so I'm assuming within the same box, we're not going to get a duplicate. So maybe that's one uh, consolation prize. Ooh, this is one of the ones I definitely wanted. I mean, I, I want them all, let's be real. But um, we've got the Enchantress. This is like straight out of the prologue. And she's got the rose and she's knocking on the door in the rain. Oh, look, and these are really good size. Again, a really, really good size pin. I like that an awful lot. Okay, last little box of these. So we have the potential to get four out of nine. But let's see how Francis did for us. No pressure, Francis. No pressure. All right, here we go. Ooh, and we've got straight up the beast. That is really, really cool. Kind of looking over the rose. Yeah, that is so cool. Okay, three for four. Last one. Last one. Let's not be a duplicate, a duplicate, a duplicate. Here we go. Ready? And ta-da! <gasps> yes! So we have got the objects as humans, Mrs. Potcogs with Lumiere and Chip. Oh, that was the other one. Chip looks a little funky, I'm not going to lie to you. But they are supposed to be in this, like, stained glass style. Um, That was the other one I really wanted, because I don't think we have them, like, in any merch that's in their human form or at least I can't think of any so let me know down in the comments if I'm wrong I usually am um wow those are really cool so now we just need uh, another five we've got the castle and the prince bell and beast dancing the enchantress when she's beautiful Gaston and Belle so again those are the ones I know it's sort of hard to tell that you can get 
All right. Thank you, friends, for um, all the things that you've picked up for me. Thank you, friends, for thinking of me when you're out and about and finding treasures in the wild. I just appreciate that so much. I look forward to seeing you all again real soon. I know we've got um, part three coming up of my how-to series, which also includes the giveaway. That's coming out later this week. But if you haven't caught up on parts one and two, I'm going to link them down below. Go enter the giveaway, go comment, go let's have a discussion about how we're um, growing and bettering ourselves as a community. And until the next Disney afternoon.